John, tell us a little bit about yourself as an artist and why the hell you're going to Alaska. What do you plan on doing during it? Um, I don't know. I don't know totally where it came to be. I guess, I don't know, like I just always wanted to, I've always wanted to build my own home and I love to take trips and I feel like at this point in my life, I don't know, it's, it just seems right to build my own home in a place that I can take trips. I get restless way too easy and I can't sit still and the only time I can like sit still is when I'm like on the road and traveling. So I also have a goal that I want to see all 50 states and drive through all 50 states by the time I'm 35. So that whole area of the country I've never been to and just need to go check it out. There's plenty of big waves and desolate spots and it's all kind of stuff that I'm into out there. I'm also working on a project while I'm on the road to do I'm collecting driftwood. I, I build furniture, custom furniture out of reclaimed wood. And that whole area up there is just piled with driftwood, found wood, anything, old barns, everything. So I mounted this huge rack on the roof of the van that I'm gonna try my hardest not to load up with stuff before I hit the road. So it leaves me more room to collect all that driftwood so that when I get back from the trip, I can start building some more furniture. And I'm gonna be documenting the process throughout and documenting where each piece of wood came from, the process of building it, how I got it from where it is on this desolate beach to the roof of my van, which I'm assuming is gonna be some of the hardest parts because I like the really big pieces, so it's going to be pretty tricky, but it's all part of the adventure, so it should be fun. Nice. What, are, what are some of the tools that you're going to be bringing with you on this thing? I'm going, going old school. No power tools. A hatchet, an axe, and a machete. Sounds kind of hip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, once I get... Once I get to a spot and like find the right kind of wood, having a limited amount of tools makes you get more creative. If you have your whole entire workshop, you're just gonna know, if I need to make this cut, I'm gonna grab that tool. If I need to screw this in, I'm gonna grab that tool. When all you have is a limited amount of tools, you have to make do, and then it kind of brings out your creativity more, instead of just referring back to the skill set and the tool set that you already know. So it's kind of like the same idea of going from shaping a board with a hand planer out of foam to grabbing a hand planer with no electric and doing it out of balsa wood. So it's kind of along the same route. So, yeah. How are you going to do with the change from warm, sunny San Diego to cold, rainy Northwest? I'm kind of stoked on it, actually. I feel like I'm getting a little bit jaded now, coming from New York originally and growing up surfing through the winter. And it's just almost too nice down here. And you get comfortable. It'll be like chest high and clean. And I'm like, ah, but it's a little bit textured, so I'm not going to get in the water. I don't know. I feel like just kind of just regressing back to my roots and getting back in the water and cold water and getting more exploratory and trying to break myself out of that routine of I'm going to surf it this time and then work it this time. And, when I'm on the road and don't have anything else to do but collect driftwood and surf, it kind of just opens myself up to a lot more options. So, yeah.